morning. Good morning. Hey. Looks like you're awake and alive. Um, we're going to start with sort of a six note warm up. If you'd like to find it in your music, it's in the Andantino. And we're going to do measure 27 in the violin part. 27 and 28, ultimately. And I guess while there's only violins, I don't have to uh, spit it out too much. Oh, nope, getting another violin. So for anybody who has a cello part, uh, the first three notes are B flat, E flat, F. And the next three notes are G, F, E flat. So we're going to do those six notes a couple of times. Four, five, six. B flat, E flat, F, G, F, E flat. Same thing. And. The next three notes we're adding are B natural, D natural, and E. So now it's a nine note warm up, I guess. Four, five, six. <laughs> The first three notes are C, E flat, and F. So the first three notes are C, E flat, and F. It's not in the violin part. You have to use your ears. C, E flat, F. Again, and C, E flat, F. Next three notes are going to be G, F. Six notes and C, E flat, F, G, F, C. Got fold on the C, we'll try it again. all of the cello part. Um, 
So I'll turn on the metronome. I'm going to try and do a, a double recording that people have something to practice with later. Um, and then after that, we'll take issues. So um, let's make sure I'm not competing with anybody. I believe this is the tempo we were at last time. We'll do violin part first. Oops, that my eyes are all happy and focused here. One, two, three, four, five, six. see how it hopefully fits together. Remember the violin enters first, so I'll count them the same way, but I won't start playing with you guys.
So we'll try to make it exactly fair. And I will play the cello part again. Everybody ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Since everybody's talking at once, um, let's hit from measure 10 to measure 25. Because I feel like that overall didn't get the same amount of rehearsal time as the beginning and the end. So that lets us connect it in a little bit. Um, 10 to 25, and I will play violin part first.
Let's use our remaining time to review the first movement so people don't forget it. So the tempo for the first movement was this. And I will play cello part first. in the foot, but let's try it slightly more allegro, and I will switch over to the violin part. I think we as a group may be ready for that.
pretty successful. Um, write it down here. I will play the cello part one more time so you can enjoy it as a duet and that the cellos have the faster tempo to practice with as well. So, two reasons. First move. everything easy for everybody to play with. I see that I have one minute, so this is your chance to, to gripe or talk about the double rainbow yesterday. <laughs> you saw some pictures on Facebook? I had friends that I used in the backyard, but it was warped by the time I saw that, so I'm it was right before six because I was, it was right before my six o'clock person. And it was surprisingly bright for, I mean, there's not often a rainbow in the backyard. You've gotten a bit different. The person that posted it was in Rochester, and I'm thinking they think same way that you do, they might have been looking at the same rainbow. I don't know if you would have been able to see it from up on the hill. I don't know. At the same time. Those elusive rainbows. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, everybody have a good week. And we'll play this game. Stay dry. That's right. Oh, and somebody will be here next week. Hopefully we're not far along. Well, even if you're not, you're going to be packing.